In this segment, we'll cover some important safety procedures you'll need to know. When working with cryogenic LNG, personal protective equipment, PPE, is required to help avoid injury. Skin contact with LNG, cold gas, or tubing carrying it will cause burns. In fact, blindness can result if LNG gets in your eyes. When fueling, always wear safety glasses, a face shield, insulated gloves, long pants, long sleeve shirt, and proper footwear. When servicing LNG systems, always wear the appropriate PPE required for the task. Never tighten or loosen a fitting under pressure. Depressurize or defuel the system as necessary for the work needed. Never use an open flame to search for a leak. And of course, do not smoke. Keep all possible ignition sources, such as welding or grinding, away from the LNG system and fueling areas. LNG vehicles should be parked and serviced outdoors where vented gas cannot accumulate, or proper provisions made for indoor storage and service. Failure to follow all these safety procedures may result in damage or personal injury, and no one wants that to happen. So be sure to always inform the others in the shop when you are servicing LNG systems. To identify LNG vehicles to emergency responders, they must display this blue diamond symbol. In an LNG emergency, such as a vehicle fire, major collision, or uncontrolled fuel leak, call 911. Then when and if it is safe to do so, shut off the ignition switch and isolate the fuel by closing both the red and gray handled valves located at the end of all LNG tanks. Evacuate the immediate area, but do not set out road flares. If LNG spills on the pavement, do not spray water on it. Water can cause LNG to splatter violently, increasing fire danger. Allow the LNG to vaporize and dissipate into the atmosphere. These are suggested guidelines. Always follow your company or station policies and procedures for all safety practices.